Hi, this is Maggie. Today, the moon to Pisces, and for some reason, I feel like doing a compatibility chart of Kurt Cobain and um, Courtney Love Cobain. So, yeah, just to see their, their crazy relationship dynamics, but they have a lot going on, a lot of sinistry with their planets. First of all, her son, she will, Courtney. Courtney Love, I'll just call her Courtney Love Cobain. Anyway, she will be on the outside wheel in the red. And this is Kurt Cobain's natal chart on the interior wheel in the blue, which I've already done. It's a beautiful, watery, watery chart. Um, so they have a sun moon connection in Cancer. It's such a strong emotional connection. If your son is, her son is on his moon, so they just, they connect emotionally. Yeah, that's, that's a very, very strong connection. So they get each other. Um, they had children together, you know? Cancer is woman, the home, the moon. And her moon also is in, in Cancer. So his moon is 13 degrees Cancer. Her, her moon is... 23 degrees Cancer. So although they're not that close to be a conjunction, they're they're pretty close, you know. They're within like 10 degrees. Yeah. So yeah, this the Sun Moon, the Moon Moon in Cancer. They're just they become emotionally enmeshed. Is what they were totally emotionally enmeshed. Um, and then her MC is on his Jupiter and Cancer. So, yeah, her, her, and her Mercury is, let me just see her degree for Mercury. Mercury is one degree Leo. And his Jupiter, no, that's not close enough. I was looking to see if her Mercury conjuncted is Jupiter, but his Jupiter is 25 degrees Cancer. Her Mercury is one degree Leo. Yeah, it's a very codependent, enmeshed relationship for sure. But the Sun Moon is an excellent attraction. Excellent. You get each other, you're drawn to each other. Uh, it's a very good connection for friendship, love, anything. Um, and her North Node is in Cancer as well. So, karmically, or somehow they were, they, they did have children together, they had been, uh, so they, they were connected, they were connected to, through that North Node, maybe he saw that, you know, emotionally through his boon and just thought she was the one, but I think more than likely he was just drawn to, uh, her fire and all the, all the, all the drama. Well, of course, they, they both have Pluto and Uranus in the 12th house in Virgo. They, both of them have that. And, you know, different degrees, of course, but that's generational. But the fact that they are in the 12th house of Pisces, you know, Pisces is drugs and alcohol and music, and they get all three. Uh, escape and Uranus is sudden and unexpected so you know it, his suicide was so tragic and it was by violence but I already did a chart on him but um, their Plutos connect um, and they are in Virgo so you know I just had to touch on the health issue you know they both were drug addicts you know, maybe alcoholics, and they had uh, very self-destructive behaviors because um, because they were in the 12th house in Virgo, and Virgo rules health, and Pluto is compulsions. Pluto is com compulsions, obsession, so um, if you're involved in that type of relationship, it's, it's very hard to escape, so... Um, 
Yeah, and another thing that drew me to, to their chart is, well, that was their self-destruction of both of them. You know, their, their 12th house Virgo was their self-destruction through many other means as well. Uh, but her, her Saturn is sitting right on his son in the sixth house of Virgo. And those are opposed to, you know, their, their Pluto and Uranus in Virgo. So at one time, I, I believe he tried to break up. He was going to divorce her or break off. And um, you know, that, that would be her Saturn on his son. It, it just felt very heavy to him. So he was trying to disentangle, but it was very hard for him uh, both emotionally to disentangle from this and, you know, yeah, from the Pluto and Uranus as well in the 12th house of Virgo. So he has, and the sixth house is the house of Virgo. So he has the Sun and Mercury in Pisces in the sixth house of Virgo. But with him, it's in Pisces. In the Sinistry Wheel, uh, <clears throat> hers is in Virgo. So it affected his health, his emotional well-being, which would be in both of their emotional well-being. Um, very self-destructive relationship for both, both of them. Um, but Saturn sitting on your side can feel very, very heavy. And so I believe he felt that and at one time maybe wanted to get clean and sober or was considering a divorce. And then, I don't know, maybe, maybe she got wind of it and something happened. But, um, but her Saturn, that could also be legal, legal papers, files. But, and it's also a malefic in her, her health actually um, was affecting his health, her Saturn's on his side, his solar self. Um, yeah, so those are the main dynamics. I mean, their cancer though is just so loaded that, you know, the, the sun, moon, the moon, moon, and the north node. You know, he sees the North God. So once he started dating her, you know, <coughs> that was it. That was it for him. And she, she just, I was going to say pretty much had her claws in him, but um, it was very much a Plutonian relationship. 12th house, a lot of stuff in secret that these two did, you know? It's in the 12th house. 12th house is hidden. And they both had generationally Uranus and Pluto in Virgo. So who knows all the others self I'm saying self-destructive because Pluto's there. And Pluto, you know, it's obsessions, compulsions, transformations. Um, and sometimes, you know, it's self-harm self-harm in some way. And Uranus is sudden, unexpected. Um, so it was, it was very, very tragic. Um, you know, to, to find him, you know, to find him. Um, but this is their sinistry chart. So they, they're drawn through all that stuff in cancer. Very, very, very strong bond. They did have a child together. So the North Node, they, they were fated to have some kind of a connection in Cancer. So she was a mother of his child. Um, for Saturn on her, his son, now that, and it's, yeah, it's, the sixth house is in opposition to the twelfth. So that, you know, yeah, they, they just had a lot of problems, a lot of problems. A lot of legal problems as well. Health, legal, and um, her Chiron, you know, the wounded healer asteroid is on his Mercury planet of communication in Pisces. So, you know, all this was lived out public, publicly, you know, to the press and 
you know, just uh, everything got out about the relationship, and it came as a, a really surprise to everyone when, when he was found, you know, death by violence. And there were all these conspiracy theories and that, again, could be Pluto and Uranus in the 12th house, you know, the mystery is the mystery. Yeah, so... Courtney's still here, and Kurt's no longer with us, but yeah, I just wanted to see see what was going on with these two, you know? So anyway, if, you know, if you would like to have a chart, symmetry chart done, or have your chart done, or anything, um, I'd be more than happy to do it. Just contact me. Um, yeah, and if you like this, please like and subscribe or share. Thank you.